Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. You can see I've just updated the guild message down there. I, I will show you. I said little Freaky Poos hasn't forgotten you all and will hopefully be online a little this weekend. So for anybody that is in the guild and has been wondering where I've gone, well you probably all know where I am. I've been busy recording like a maniac because of uh, Farming Simulator 19. I'm hoping it will have calmed down a little bit and I'll be able to get online this weekend. Also, I have been thinking about doing a live stream. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a little while now because a lot of people would like me to try doing a live stream. I've got no idea how to do a live stream. Pretty sure my recording software will be all right for it, but I don't, I just don't know, okay? I've got no idea if it's gonna work well, uh, what issues I might have with it, or anything like that. So, I might, I'm, I'm gonna try and look into it and sort of see what's involved, because at the moment, like I say, I don't know anything about how to set it up and how to start it and so on. I think things are okay for me to do it, live stream through YouTube. Um, but I want to make sure that I've got everything right. So I might, and I, this is only a might, I might be doing a test run live stream on Friday evening. Um, for, and I'll do it whilst playing this game, okay? So I don't have like millions of people, set, well I say millions, okay. There, there, there could be a couple hundred people that might turn up if I'm doing FS19. Um, and I don't want to be getting it wrong, whereas if I'm live streaming World of Warcraft, I, there's going to be considerably fewer people that are going to be interested in watching it. So I thought that was probably better if I go for live streaming World of Warcraft rather than trying to live stream anything a little bit more extreme than that. Um, at least to start with, and I know World of Warcraft, and I know a lot of the quirks of this game um, more than I do a new game, which is another reason that I thought, well, maybe World of Warcraft is the one to pick to attempt a first ever live stream with and we'll see if we can do something with that. So that's my plan. I might uh, make no promises on this whatsoever. I'm absolutely not making any promises. I'm not telling you that it is going to happen. I'm simply saying that I might if I can sort of figure out the basics of it and I've got the time for it as well. Might I, I can't emphasize this enough. I don't want I don't want to get your hopes up too much, but I'm just saying there's a possibility. This Friday evening, I'll try and have a go and see what I can do. Um it, it may work, it may not work. Uh it'll probably only be for like 15 or 20 minutes or something. Just 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 to see if I can even do it. If it's successful, then there may be a few more live streams coming to the game. Um, thinking that live streaming, I think this is the boat that I want actually. I hope this is the boat that I want. Don't jump into the water. Is this the boat that I want? This doesn't have any people on board, so I'm, I'm kind of wondering if this is the boat that I want. Uh, oh no, the one I want is the one for Darnassus over there. Oh, I nearly went into the water. Um, so yeah, there is a possibility that it, it's going to work, um, because people have been asking me to live stream, and I've been discussing this with Senlea, so I might be able to do a bit of live streaming here and there. Whether I'm going to be able to do this successfully or not, I don't really know. Uh, portal to Darnassus? I thought you had to take... Proud Moor's finest. The dock serious. now serves as the landing spot for the Relentless. She's been chartered by the Alliance as main transportation for diplomats between Stormwind and Kul'Tiras. The ship will take you straight to Always loyal. I see. So I've now got to go through here. It's not that ship that I want. Can't take that ship anymore. I now just take a straight portal to, Dan to Darnassus. Okay, we'll do that. Straight portal. They didn't let me portal. Why didn't it let me portal? Maybe I wasn't close enough. We do need to get changed. Let's let's do that first. Let's get changed. We're heading over there. We're going back into the wilds. We, we're going to need to make sure that we've got the correct gear. So we want to equip that lot. Right there we go. Ready for combat now. Now we're looking the part. Right. And... Now we're looking the part. Noble Paladin. Here we go. 
so yes, it, it this may work, this may not. I've got absolutely no idea. I'm only saying about it on here for a minute because, you know, we will try this on Friday evening. If it works, I'm going to attempt a live stream of uh, Farming Simulator 19 on the following evening. Again, I don't know if it's going to work. I, I've got no idea at the moment. I, yeah, it's, this, is, this is all up in the air and this is all sort of guesswork for me at the moment. Because I've never ever done a live stream, so I don't know whether or not I can make a live stream even be Ishmael. successful or not. We'll find out. Moonglade? Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Isn't... Right, so we're in... This is Darnassus at the moment, so Darnassus for us is still here. Um, Moonglade... Oh, of course, yes. Right, what? Greeting. That's actually a, a significant shortcut. I was thinking we'd have to go down here to Astronar, and then we'd have to run all the way up through Fellwood, and then go through the tunnels and into Winter Spring. But there is another. The, the tunnels actually they divide two ways here, or they go three ways. One exit is into Fellwood in the north. One exit is in Winter Spring, and the other exit, I think, is in Moonglade. So we might be able to get through here from Moonglade and bypass Fellwood altogether. It's going to make life a lot easier. We can get to where we want to get to where we're going. I know the journey is half the fun, but today I'd kind of like to make sure that we do actually get into Winter Spring, and we can get ourselves established in there. I forgot to do that historian quest. That one there, in Stormwind. I completely forgot to do that historian quest. I don't know now whether to half back to the other continent, do that, and then come back over here. Because we literally, we only went to the portal through there. So it's not like it's taken us very long. Um, if I was to half back, and then, like here, I can literally, I can just do that. And it should dump me off here. There, see? So I could half back. We can do that quest. Just find out what the... Yeah, I'm going to. I'm... It's going to bug me. And also, I don't know what the time limit is on it. So whether if there, there could be a time limit on doing that quest. And if there is, it's going to really bug me that we haven't done it. So we'll half back over here. We've got to fly from Lakeshire. Because that's where the Hearthstone is. Uh, back into Stormwind. And then we can do this quest in a minute. And then we'll go back to Darnassus. Hello, Brianna. This may be the last time we meet for quite some time. I'm going to run back out here a minute. There's one other thing that I wanted to do, and that was to pick up a new pet, because we've had um, Gooseman X has been following us around for quite a while now. He's probably getting tired. His poor little legs. He's, he's been um, scurrying along like a lunatic for quite a while. It's actually quite impressive, the amount of running around he's done. So I'm also going to just have a quick scout for... A roach, a chicken, or a red ridge rat. There's a rat over there. Alright. I can do this. As long as I don't... I can't use any AoEs on the ground, but I might then be able to... Um, if I can just take down that one. Like that. There we go. Perfect. Red Ridge Rat, right, that is an upgrade. It's only a level upgrade, but it is an upgrade. And as far as I'm concerned, that's good enough. We will have a new pet for us to take with us um, just on our journey at the moment. So that one there, one hit wonder on there. And then we can use the strong trap. So we can do this nice and quick. There we go, we've captured that one. And then we switch over to the chicken there. And I'll hit that one once with that one. And then we'll hit it with the leech seed. See there, it went down to one. It cannot do any more damage than that at all. You've got to use one of the other abilities to take it out. But there we go. All done. Nice and easy because this is a low level zone. So we've now got a Red Ridge Rat. Let me just find in the Great Book of Names who is next on the list. Right. Our Red Ridge Rat here. Just bring that one back. There he is. We'll summon you up and we will rename you. You are the good gamer like that except name is reserved enter a new name why is that one reserved uh can i just go good gamer okay i can have good gamer i can't have the good gamer 
So we'll have that one right there. So we've got a good gamer accompanying us now. So let's get back to Stormwind and we can do this quest. I know I normally wear my um, my city outfit, but I figure we'll just have this outfit on now. We're going to we're going to see the king. Well, no, we're not. We, 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 well, we're going up to the castle anyway. We're going to go and meet the historian in the Royal Library. But so we are wandering up into the, the main castle. Probably we want to look our best. We, we probably want to look good. So we're going to go charging up in here on our noble steed. Um, actually, what was this one in here? Um, let me have a look right good here. To you. Perinol TR. Oh, yeah, I remember See that one. Later. I don't want to go and get that one. Um, that is quite a good quest to do, and I have done that quite a few times in the past. But I'm going to leave it at this time, at least. Um, Gooseman X is actually online. I've just gotten rid of you, Gooseman X. I've replaced you with the good gamer, my favorite Red Ridge Rat. And... Ooh, okay, there's lots of people here. Why are there lots of people here? What's going on? Why are there people here? What's your story? What's your story? Without history, there would be no future. The historians. Grandorn, you're here. You must have received my letter. Wait a minute. Sia's here. There! Look, it's Sia! Okay, we'll, we'll blow a kiss. Maybe that's not so respectful. Maybe we ought to salute instead. It's a bit more respectful if we salute, I think. Um, right, let's 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 turn our back and go back to historian lore. And we need a time to reflect. It is time to reflect on the events that have brought us to this moment. Celebration of our great history and the events that shape it. Correctly answer one of Lord's questions about the history of Azeroth. Uh, we get 25 time warp badges and 17,000 experience. Okay. Let the light of the new moon guide you. Is this music louder than normal? I don't know if it is or not. What can I do for you? Right. Let us test your knowledge of history then. Which orc was responsible for opening numerous portals on Drenor and shattering the orc home world? That would have been Gul'dan. Incorrect. Gul'dan was there. I know. I see. So who was Good day. it? Then? I got a bad feeling. Maybe it was Nia Zul that did it, and Gul'dan sort of came along later. Let us test your knowledge of history. Which apothecary cannot be found in Shadowfang Keep during the Love is in the Air event? Okay, this one I've got absolutely no clue, so I'm going to guess Baxter. <laughs> Incorrect. Farewell. This, 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 this could Oi. go on for a while. Um, who was the first to leave Pandaria on the back of the sea turtle Shen Zin Su? Xiao Hao? Don't think so. Shinizi. Liu Lang. Lili Stormstout. I want to say Lili Stormstout, but maybe it was Xiao Hao. Xiao Hao. No, Xiao Hao's the Emperor, isn't he? Xiao Hao. Ah! Ah, oh, I thought maybe it was. Long live Greymane. Took myself out of every answer. Where was Dalaran originally located in the Eastern Kingdoms? Oh, I know this one. Arathi Highlands. What? You yes, it was. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. Hang on. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. I'm a very angry man. Uh, of course. Hills Brad Foothills. Not Arathi Highlands. Hills Brad Foothills. Frith, you moron. You absolute Any friend of moron. Is a friend of mine. Let us test your knowledge of history then. What is a Grummy's? A Grummel's most prized personal possession. A backpack, a yak, a lucky do, a lucky don't. Well, I don't know if the backpack or the yak are the most prized. I think it's the lucky do's. Yes! <laughs> At long last we got one. <laughs> we that are is bound correct. By a we did it. Enemy. Without history, there would be no future. A moment to reminisce on how far we have come. A day to look to the future and where we might go. A year of reflection on what it means to grow and a lifetime of memories made by those brave enough to seize it. Keep your chin up, eh? Keep your chin up, eh? Get gabbing or get going. Ah, look. So, okay, we got 200, so we can get ourselves the exquisite costume set Edwin Van Cleef. Not that great. It's got like uh, 50 charges you keep turning into Edwin Van Cleef, which is quite, it is quite cool. 
Uh, Corgi pup right there is a pet. That's too. We could get that pet. We've actually. We, we, we could do that. There is a mount here as well, but I don't know where that mount is. Uh, oh no, that's, uh, that's that's different. But we're not going to use time warp badges anywhere else, I don't think. This. Um, I think we want the corgi pup. That's who we want. We're going to come back to historian me lore, and we'll, we'll do this another time. We need to now head down to the docks. What's this one? That is. Oh, that's the guardians of Hygel. No, we want. We don't want to go there. We need to head to the docks. We need to get down there, and we need to go back over to Darnassus. I'm wondering which would be quicker, to throw ourselves out the side of the building here or run out the main entrance, you know, like normal people do. I'm not normal people. I have never have been, and I never will be. There we go. Um, we come out to here, and then we can go like that. Summon up our Azure Water Strider, and stride with pride across the lake. Now, this time... We're not going to get distracted. So it, it was kind of fun going up and answering the, the general knowledge quiz. Kind of embarrassing that my general knowledge is far poorer than I thought it was. I would also like to know the correct answers for those questions that um, I got wrong. The one about the Shadow Fan Keep, I wouldn't have a clue. But like the, the, the first uh, Pandarian ever to leave the island on the back of the tortoise or turtle, whatever it was. Uh, turtle, not tortoise. Um, that one is actually something as part of the lore in Pandaria. And you do find that one out. I can't remember if it's when you start a new character or if you find out about it as you're questing through the zones as well. Um, I definitely should have got the other one right. Uh, that, that, right. Um, that one up over here, Eastern Kingdoms. Um, Hills Brad Foothills for where the original location of Dalaran. Definitely should have got that. That was that was just me. That that was just a rookie rookie mistake. Uh, I got distract. I got confused between the two. I didn't remember which way round they were. So yeah, I I I, I genuinely feel bad about that. It's like I, I should have known that. Then I, I do this whenever I do a quiz. I, I spend half the time beating myself up because I got the questions wrong. Well, I should have known that. Oh, I should have known that. Oh, I should have known that. And I'm like that the whole way through. So, um, maybe it's better if we don't do too many quizzes. Now then, we land down here. We're going to take our noble charger for this one. And we're going to head off over this way. There is some fish there. I'm going to leave fish. We're not going to worry about cooking for the moment. And we're going to leave that be. We want to head over into this corner of Moonglade. It's over here. We go onto the road over here, and then we head up. We've got up through here. This is where we want to go. You can see all of these. It's just squirrels in here. Those two are from a festival, and you can only get them at um, during the world event. So this is the one that I was talking about. Timbermore Hold. Now, these guys right here at the moment, they are unfriendly. They're not going to attack me. But they're not going to speak to me and be nice to me either. Right? At the moment, they don't just... They, they're kind of like neutral experience with them. Um, we come into the main room in here. I don't know if there's like some of these guys... Timbermores. Let me just bring this up a minute. We've got Classic right there. Thorium, Hydraxian, Argent Dawn. No, I don't have any of them on at the moment. But there is... There's the odd quest that you can do. And you can start building up reputation with them. If you want to be able to get... Here in Feats of Strength, uh, Reputation... The Insane. One of the ones that you've got to get is... These, I think. Blood Cell Buccaneers... Booty Bay, Everlook, Gadget Zan, Ratchet, Dark Moon Fair, and Ravenholt. Raise your reputation to Honored. With blood, oh, with Blood Cell Buccaneers and Exalted with Booty Bay, Everlook, uh, Dark Moon Fair, and Ravenholt. I got my reputation with these up, so that must be under reputation up here. It's in Classic right here. Uh, they love me in the tunnel. That's just an ordinary achievement, Unexalted. 
you actually you get that while you grind if you're grinding the insane in the membrane title you'll end up getting this anyway or you used to it, it used to work out that you would i think i've taken the wrong turn i think we've gone into uh, no we haven't this is where i wanted to go you go out to here and there's this guy right here there we timbermore can grant you safe passage through the hole however you must prove yourself worthy of our aid What's about the Winterfall Furbolg? Fur Furbolg. The Winterfall Furbolg that reside here in Winterspring were once our allies, but one day that all changed. Driven by the strange demands of their High Chief, they began to attack all others that they came in contact with, including our tribe. They keep to themselves now. Delivery for Donovan. Donovan Snowden is a kind dwarf who frequents the nearby hot springs. She claims to be studying their magical properties. She is a kind person and has good relations with our tribe. As the Winterfall have become more and more aggressive, she has begun researching the cause of their corruption. I must keep my post here, but I have made a basket of refreshments for her. Please take it to her for me and tell her we await her next visit. Tim the Timbermore tend to stay to themselves, Grondor. While we do allow safe passage to those we trust, we try to avoid other furbog Furbolg tribes, if at all possible. The Winterfall tribe has become increasingly hostile towards us. They seem to be in a state of rage, completely engulfed by their own fear and hatred of anything they do not understand. The Winterfall carry spirit beads, which they clearly, which have clearly failed to, failed to protect them against corruption. Bring me ten of these beads to show you have thinned their ranks. Now that particular quest, you do that the first time, it then becomes a repeatable one. And while you're doing other quests here in order to... Um, it was actually when I was doing this, um, I was doing other quests. It was while I was getting the um, Winter Spring Frost Saber, which is now going to be our new mount of choice while we're in here. We need to get our Winter Spring Frost Saber. Uh, but it was while I was trying to get this one that I also ground out the, um, the Furbolgs one. It was... Quite a simple, really, uh, little trade-off, really, to be able to do it. Uh, we will go the green... Yeah, we'll go instead of the green one. We'll drop that down there. And we'll move these around. We'll swap them over so that that one goes there and that one goes there. And this is the mount that is native to this zone. The Winter Spring Frost Saber in all its glory. First time I ever appeared on a video on YouTube was riding this mount... Disguised as a Christmas gnome on a quest that on a thing that we all were did as a group of randoms and we actually did uh, I want to go there and I want to go to PvP right there slay the leaders of the horde 21st and 12th 08 and it was the day after this it was late at night on the 21st of the 12th we went and we killed these three leaders of the Horde, you basically you get a great big group and you go round to each of the cities and you get them all. And so we took out these three. And then we earned our Black War Bear. As actually, it was four of them at the time. There was one more that you needed to do in order to be able to complete it. And I don't know if it's in here. No. I don't know where the other one is. Surely that would have been in Feats of Strength. Maybe it's under Legacy. Uh, PvP on here. Um, maybe there is... No, there, there's nothing in there. Right, anyway. We, we did have to go and kill them. And somebody else filmed it while it was happening. And posted up this um, video. And there was a little short clip part way through. You've seen me riding along as a gnome on this Winter Spring Frost Saber, and I thought that was just brilliant. It was the first time I was ever on YouTube. I thought it was absolutely wonderful. I really did. I watched that video a couple of times. Thought, I'm famous. I'm on YouTube. That's brilliant. Little did I know that I would be repeating such a thing many, many times. Although I'm not dressed as a gnome. I've done it dressed as a gnome for a very long time. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to ignore this quest, and I'm going to follow this road all the way over here. Which is this road here. I'm going to follow this road all the way in. Now there is a quest there. Delivery for Donova. I don't know if she's got a flight point actually. Let's just check. And No, she wouldn't have. It would be marked. It would actually... It marks the flight points, doesn't it? So no, we don't have a flight point there. 
We've got one there, Talon Branch, and we've got Moonglade over there. So you can fly to Moonglade and then run through the hold. There is that little bit of a shortcut. But the reason I want to come through here is because I want to get our Hearthstone locked up here in this area. We've got some rich thorium right there, and that over there is true silver. True silver is kind of useful, but this is the one we want. This is the bad boy we're after. Five thorium and some dense stone as well. No thorium explosives, remember. We need mithril for explosives. I'm disappointed in that. I really thought we would have um, thorium explosives. Um, true silver right there. So there is our winter spring frost saber. This is the perfect, it's the perfect cat for this. And I can't remember who it is that you had to speak to in order to get the winter spring frost saber stuff up. But there was a quest. I don't know, also, I don't know how difficult it is to do anymore. It used to take a really long time. You picked up, like, eight quests or two quests up there, and you had to run all the way down here and grind a load of stuff out down here. And I think it was also, there was to do with the Winter Fur Bulg. And you had to go and kill a load of those as well. And because you had to kill so many of the Winter Fur Bulg, uh, you kept picking up the Spirit Beads. And so then every now and then you'd run them over and you'd get the Timbermore rep, just turning them in because of one of the quests that you were doing. But I don't know if you still got to go through all of that, or if gaining the Winter Spring Fro Frost Saber is now much easier. It could be either way, to be honest. Do I want to go this way? Uh, I don't think I do, actually. I think I want to keep going. You know it would be a good idea if I actually read the signs? Keltheral, Starfall Village, Everlook. Everlook's the one that we want. Starfall Village used to be in ruins... But it's been a long time since I was here, so Starfall Village could have started to be rebuilt. There were problems in Starfall Village. And th things had gone a bit sour for them in Starfall. Maybe, just maybe, it's, it's been rebuilt. We've got a Frostleaf Tree Ant there. I don't remember seeing such a thing. This, this is a new type of creature. This is not something I'm familiar with. So what do we got here? We got uh, Frost Saber Rock. That's where you got to go to get the Winter Spring Frost Saber. And you got Starfall Village over there. And then this way we've got Everlook and Mount Hyjal as well. Mount Hyjal, you go all the way down through there in order to get this Mount Hyjal down there. Um, but we want to go this way. And you will see the, 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 the bit that we're after. The, the place that we're after in just a minute. We don't want to go there. We'll worry about all the other places later. I'm, even, I'm not even being squirreled by all of the ores at the moment. I'm just wanting to run through. Enjoy the journey for a minute. It might look, look at the massive great big trees that we've got everywhere. But there we go. We're, we're coming up to Everlook. There it is. There's Everlook. I actually really like the music that goes on with Everlook. That right there. An anodized Robo Cub. There's a new pet. We get one of them a little bit later. So here, there's, oh, there's actually several of them in here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Everlook. Now, there are a few quests that you can pick up in here. And there used to be some certain crafting materials and stuff that you could get up here. And it was worth coming over to Everlook every now and then. Just to, like, pick a few up. And you could then take them and go and sell them on the auction house. I don't know if there still is any. But there's, there's a lot of quests around here. And... You can also, you can work through a load of your quests and stuff and, and sort of do stuff with that. There's the innkeeper. Vizzy, the innkeeper. I have a deal for you. I have a deal for you. I get a lot of mail, Grundorn. Most of it is junk, but some of them might be helpful to a helpful paladin like you. Here's a couple letters sent to Everlook. Looking for help in the far corners of the world, it's almost as if you have a choice for where you go next. Now let's see. We can go to Silithus or we go to the Blasted Land. So we'll leave those quests. We're not going to do that. But we do Glad want to make this help. one our home. We now live in Everlook in Winter Spring. We are on the Laughing Yeti. It's an absolutely beautiful name for an inn, is it not? The Laughing Yeti. I love that. In a, a frost-covered zone like this, we are now in the Laughing Yeti. This is absolutely brilliant. I, I, I genuinely like this. Um, now... I'm sort of looking at this and I'm wondering how we're going to do for time, whether we could go and do just a little bit more or whether it would be better if we didn't. Um, I've got that flight point now. I could fly over to there and we could do that quest there. 
Unfortunately, this week, as many of you know, I am pressed for time. Um, and also, there are some personal things that have come up this week that have meant that I'm more pressed for time. So I am going to leave it here. We've got to ever look. I'm happy that we've got to ever look. And I think what we'll do is we will go carry on with our questing in our next episode. So we'll stop right here. I apologize for it being quite a short episode. Um, I will go back to longer episodes next, actually probably in the next episode. Um, and we're going to start doing our proper questing here. But at the moment... We've made it to Everlook, we've got here, and yeah, we, we didn't do much, most of this one has been about travelling, um, actually it's been pretty much all travelling, but we, we at least managed to catch a pet. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching, this is Frithgar, goodbye, and see you later.